volunteers. I myself couldn't visualize that until I got Dave's sketches. So Andrew gave a script, Dave interpreted that script and created this. And again, I'm mentioning this because Janet's doing all of that, <laughs> not, not four people. And then the first panel is an establishing exterior shot of Mrs. Nimas' shack, thick snow everywhere. And then we see as the, the lettering is, is put in and, and this, and then we see what it looks like um, in, in color. And not all graphic novels are uh, created in color. I'm very grateful that Penguin Random House decided that. And uh, we see the lettering. What do they have you doing these days? Chopping down trees in the forest, you? And it was incredible to see the story come to life. Andrew selected, it was his interpretation, which aspects of the story should go into the graphic novel. And in many ways, I feel that this graphic novel adaptation is more powerful than the original source novel um, that, that I wrote. There, there's an elasticity with these visuals that I wasn't able uh, to achieve with the, the prose. Uh, there are breaths. How do you create a breath visually? Um, and we did this with black. How do you create sort of a sunrise, a fade in? Do you see the left part of the screen is, is, you know, is very pale and then we have, we move and it becomes more saturated. Um, and we see this here as well. Then there were things that I simply couldn't do um, in, my, in my book that I wanted to. For each book I write, I interview maybe 50 to 80 true witnesses, and I get to honor them in the acknowledgments, but, um, but here, Andrew had the, the beautiful idea of honoring these people in the visuals, and actually, Dave drew the imagery of these true witnesses who helped with this book, and their names are included. Then there are things in this graphic novel that aren't in the original source novel. Uh, for example, one thing I didn't even try to do, when the true witnesses explained that um, something that brought them so much hope in the darkness was they were at the North Pole, so they could see the northern lights. And they said, we were, at that moment, we didn't feel captive. There was hope. We saw that there was still beauty in the universe, and it, it gave us hope for another day. And I'm not gonna show you that panel because I want you to look at it in the book. <laughs> disservice. So those were just a, a few slides before um, Scott and Nicole have our conversation and I have to thank you both so much for agreeing to do this and, uh, and Scott it's an you know, honor to be here with you as well. You've had me at your school and have supported uh, me for so many years. So I'm anxious for this conversation. Thank you. Mm -hmm.